a, in a little rarity. Let's go Baltimore. But, uh, you know, you see him from time to time in the monthlies and so on. The, uh, the rarer player. Mm -hmm. The guy that you're happy to see when he does show up at a tournament. That's our Kyle Tree. One of those rare figures that blesses us from time to time. Alright, so uh, Dunks making the conversion to Fox and he's committing to it. He uh, was a, a Luigi a Puff player. And I think uh, he guys just got jaded over time. He started to develop a Fox. Like, actually, there was a period of like. Maybe during the summer where literally everybody in Northern California was just trying to develop a pocket fox. <laughs> and it was really annoying <laughs> for the first like day or two, but then I got into it and it was no longer annoying. <laughs> that just warms my heart. Fully converted. Yeah. This fox is so fun to play. He is. Especially when you start getting that combo oh. game. And you the first time you do a fox combo and you, you see the light, <laughs> you just it makes sense. You're like, alright, yep, this is my Absolutely. man. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You're like, oh, now I know why people play this character. Yeah, I'm like, oh, makes sense. <laughs> it's like when you eat like a delicious food for the first time, you're like, oh, that's why people like guacamole. <laughs> Top tier, so good. Fox is the guacamole of Smash 64. <laughs> Straight guac. Ooh. So, by the fact that Dunks chose Fox against Zhang Fang and Pika, do you think he's he's exclusively a Fox main now? Because this this uh, looks scary. Is yeah, I would I would hazard to guess that Dunks is the kind of guy who, if, uh, well, that will kill. Yeah, I, I'd imagine that he has the counter pick Luigi or he has a counter pick Puff for a certain matchup. I can't imagine what that matchup is. Maybe like a Puff. He would go Luigi against Puff, I don't know. I can see that, I can see that. Uh, but, but Fox is very good against Luigi. He, he is, but I mean, like, there's there's options. Uh, I think he's just, I mean, with Luigi, you already know what it is. And if you're a Luigi player. Fox is very good against uh, against Puff as well, so uh, I don't know. Ooh, Dank Pink trying to anticipate the recovery with the, with the Thunder. Dunk didn't like that. He fires an errant laser, but I think too little too late. Bank bank up the stock. Dunk's looking to respond conservative with the approach, knowing that if he can get just a little bit more damage accrued, he can get a little zero to death, or not zero to death, but X to death combo. Dank Pank wisely hanging out on that top platform. So that's a formation that I that I see a lot, where uh, two players are just kind of aer uh, aer aerial aerial at each other, they're, and they're, they're going back and forth like a like a yo-yo, or right. I like to call that uh, I like to call that the cheese, the cheese, the cheese. So essentially, two guys are vying for position on, mm -hmm. on a, a part of the stage, mm -hmm. and you're just trying to lure the other player into a disadvantageous position so you can hurt him. Right. You're just trying to bait him essentially. So sure, sure. A lot of times you're just trying to like fake the jump or condition something twice and then change it up the next time. Like a football play, but definitely very cheese heavy. You want to, huh. <laughs> you want to lure, especially with like Pikachu. You have to respect the upper. You have to respect the bear. You know that those are just huge hitboxes that you can throw out and beat most moves. You have to wait for him to throw that move out and counter it. Mm -hmm. So the the cheese has to be very high tier, like Gouda, like smoked <laughs> cheddar. You got to go to Whole Foods. <laughs> you got to get two bags for it. Just got to reach. Dunks needs that up smash. He needs that jab to up smash. Just, just to kill. Oh. oh! That that dash to jump cancel up smash oh. is a lot harder than most people give it credit for with Fox. It's it's very precise and it's easy to flub. Oh, he's not gonna get it. Yeah. Too early. He he was a little, I think, scared to drift into uh, what would have been a bear range or bear territory. Very wisely, you do not want to feed the bears. Those signs are up in most national parks for a reason, guys. <laughs> Dang Pank knows he's got the lead here. Just trying to do some fringe damage. Like I said, that Geico, 15% or more. <laughs> 
So uh, while running past your opponent who's just sitting there can be tempting, it can be fun, it can right. be flashy, it's it's not optimal in most situations unless you're going specifically for some kind of right. Game. Oh, well, I don't yeah. I don't know why I want to crouch cancel out smash right there, knowing uh, that you have the yeah. position. It, I mean, the reaction time for it is obviously very fast. Nice. Well, yeah. I mean, if your opponent is shielding, you definitely don't want to go for a jump cancel out smash there. Uh, but uh, but you could easily go for a grab. You could go for maybe a short hop up there, uh, and then into virtually anything. Um, there's all sorts of more optimal, so to speak, things that you can do. Uh, oh boy! Dang pig recovering well. Wow. Oh, wow, good <laughs> I escape. I did not know how he got out of that. Up smash. Just, oh, jumping, just jumping between the grabs. Love the up smash there. Dash came out, and he's going to grab uh, back there, and I think this might be the game. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, no. Is he gonna, wow, oh, he got back. Oh, dunks. No, dirty, dunks. Dirty, dirty man, you. Oh. Try and read with a grab. Oh, wow. Yo, right. Dunks pull, brings us back. Dunks needs this the stock. Super hype. He, allow, he respectfully allows Pikachu to recover to that platform, and now we've got last stock situation. Let's go, go Dunks. All right, if Dunks can pull off one of those up smashes that he's, he's been missing. Man, this would be the longest three stock comeback I've seen in a hot minute. Look at that timer there. Uh, that's wow. A that's a wow, that was a marathon first game. It was, especially for, for a Fox Pikachu match. Oh, Traditionally a very Hannah, fast yeah. match. Usually two of the faster characters in the uh, roster. Mm -hmm. Man, that one just became methodical towards the end there. Tank Peg was up three stocks at one point, and didn't, uh, Riley didn't get hit. He was at 15% <laughs> until, like, he, he was, like, super high percent so second to last stock. Yeah, almost really brought impressive. it Almost brought it back all the way. It's crazy that, like, some, some players just have this weird... Wow. Like characteristic about them, where they hang on to that last stock, like like a dog hangs on to its chew toy, just like a bulldog, really ravenous creature, just won't let go. I think uh, I think the fear sets in and makes them more patient. It oh. makes them more cautious. Yes, yes. Adversely, when somebody knows they have a lead and they're just trying to close it out, they can just fail. And oh, yeah. What have we here? The counter pick to Luigi. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, there's your your question answered, Danny. He's he's got a Luigi. For just such an occasion. Ah, as much as I, I hate to see someone switch away from Fox, uh, I think this is a good decision. Oh, this I is good. This is good for everybody. Yeah. Uh, Dunks' Ouija too is like, uh, it's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, yesterday in doubles, him and Free and teaming with a double Ouija. Oh, and that was so fun to watch. Yeah, it was just a treat. Uh, I love watching Free and play just in general. Uh, any time, oh, yeah. any like top level Luigi player, probably like. My favorite, one of my favorite sets ever in 64 has got to be Wizzy and Isaiah. <laughs> just, the, just the first game. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. For those of you who don't remember, uh, well, let's see. Isaiah counterpicked to Luigi and then JV6 Wizzy. Yeah, it was a JV5 or JV6. I can't remember. I think we were doing five stocks at that particular tournament. I believe it was a JV6. He it was incredible. Wrecked. The entire venue was, was going nuts, including Hunger Box. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, Isaiah did lose that set, but oh my uh, gosh, yeah. that was so much fun to watch. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, like, it, it just Luigi, you don't, you don't get to see it often enough. And no. Guys do not have that magic experience with Luigi, so <clears throat> you tend to find that if you do throw out that rare matchup, sometimes you'll get success because your opponent just doesn't have that, that knowledge. We saw it yesterday in placement pools, Bard playing uh, Soto. The uh, Pikachu Kirby matchup, uh, Soto lost the first game and then elected to go Samus. It's just, and then ended up winning the set because Bard doesn't know the matchup as well. And these are, I'm, you're starting to see this more and more as the game develops and guys are starting to develop secondaries and tertiaries for just such an occasion. For a, like, ah, I don't know what to do against Pikachu and Fox, but I bet you this guy doesn't know what to do about these FBs. And back and forth battle here. Hard, hard read up smash. Good read. Too bad it didn't kill me. Floaty is the Luigi. You know he's got those margarine slippers. <laughs> Soaked the butter. 
so slippery. He's so slippery. Ooh. Oh no! He wanted that it. That might cost him. No! Whoa. Dunks. Probably throwing out some cabbage. Oh, just a little too high. A little too eager for that one. He had the timing. He had the. Uh, he had the oh. placement. Ooh! Tried the hard way. Oh, there it there is. There we are. You need the climax. <laughs> All right. Dink, dink. Looking to come back. Yeah, doesn't even need the down B conversion. <clears throat> Two stocks of peace. Wispy looking non plus as usual. Nothing phases her. Wispy is a her? You know, I'd like to think that Wispy is a female. Distinctly male characteristics. With the nose, I don't know. Is that a male nose? Might as well ask a snowman. What right? Yeah. What do you mean? Like ships? Kind of ships are like, effe like effeminate. It's like, uh, like you call a battleship her or she. Or she. That's true. Yeah. What do you call a tree? Oh man, I almost thought that Dunks would get the hard read up B there. Might have killed it. I don't know. Maybe a reverse up B from that direction. That percentage. Dunks now got to play a real patient game. He's on his last stock. He's got to be content to throw cabbage out. Dankpink, not really sure what to do Dank with Pink those fireballs. Uh, yeah, Dankpink can just hang out on the top platform, right? I mean, he's uh, he's got a sizable lead. Uh oh, oh, ah. Luigi just too slippery. Uh, as soon as Luigi misses those uppies, you want to drop to the ground because that's where Luigi's going. There it oh, is. Man. Hard read. All right, Dunks at 50. Let's see if he can bring this back and force a game three. Tank Pink says, no, I don't think so. Back throw here. He's got him off stage. What does he do? Uh, I think that's just enough. Unless he really flubs it here. Uh, yeah. Good show, Dunks, though. I mean, very so respectful good. to see that Luigi push it to that, to that edge. Absolutely. He was there both games.